Hello, VNTV. Thank you for tuning in to the latest installment of the KT Optometry Show. One of the things we like to share is, is really about health and wellness. And you know, in reality, health is truly wealth. And I want to introduce our special guest, Kat Kerfell. Uh, Kat, you have a, a business, Veiled, uh, Veiled Beauty? Yeah, correct? Veiled Beauty. Okay, and uh -huh. I'm gonna li give you the platform to share with the audience. What do you like to share, please? Yeah, um, I am a businesswoman and mm -hmm. entrepreneur. I make wedding veils and bridal accessories. Um, but the thing that I really wanted to share today, yes. I was talking to Dr. Kwa about was, I recently went through breast implant illness. Oh, wow. Um, wow. I actually got breast implants 11 years ago, mm -hmm. and I didn't really realize some of the ramifications and mm -hmm. the symptoms that I would undergo okay. just through what, what, that. What, what, okay, so just to start off, um, at, so how long did you have it before you started feeling these symptoms well th that is like one of the number one things every woman wants to know is yeah. like when did you start, start feeling, feeling symptoms yeah. and i started to feel depressed right after um i got them it oh, was pretty much during my wow. recovery from surgery wow. and how long ago was that that was 11 years, years ago. ago yes yeah as you mentioned so yes. i've dealt with depression wow. for the last 11 years wow. and i just thought that was a part of adulthood for yeah. me and um wow. so yeah so i started to feel depression right after um getting them implanted wow. and then other symptoms started flaring up mm. like uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Wow. I had like really achy joints and um, muscle pains. Mm -hmm. uh, my vision started to like kind of become more blurry, mm -hmm. especially in the last two years. Wow. Things really started to ramp up. I might need to, to check up. your eyes then. You know, yeah. you know the call. Yeah. <laughs> I could definitely help her with yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so blurry vision and mm. then floaters mm -hmm. is a really common, sim common symptom. There's over 50 wow. symptoms for breast implant illness, yeah, believe because it or not. I was trying to do some research because right now it's not recognized as an actual diagnosis yet no. in, 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 in medical literature. Mm -hmm. So, but to see so many women now sharing these stories, so it's gotta be something, right? It's gotta definitely be something. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'll tell you how I discovered it, okay. which is very common to every single woman that kind of goes through the same journey. Mm -hmm. So I was having all these weird health things flare up. Mm -hmm. um, my eyes were starting to become really puffy. Like you can see they're still kind of puffy. Mm -hmm. I was okay. having all these food sensitivities. Yeah. Um, I was starting to think that like I was gluten intolerant, mm -hmm. dairy intolerant. Um, I was getting eczema all over my face, mm -hmm. like puffy eyes. Um, and then the rheumatoid arthritis, chronic fatigue. Wow. I would need to take a three plus hour nap. Wow. At I love least. those. No, no, I know, right? No, 30 minutes usually I recommend. Yes. Yeah. No, not three hours. That's a little long for yeah, naps. Yeah, so I would need yeah, about a three so hour wiped out. nap. You felt so wiped out. Yeah. Wow. Um, that would was normal case was probably a few times a week mm -hmm. in addition to getting like eight to ten hours a night wow. so the chronic fatigue is yeah, really common yeah. for women um hair loss mm -hmm. my hair i have a lot of hair mm -hmm. genetically but um my hair, a lot of hair yeah my hair yeah. was just like falling out uh -huh. like crazy for for a couple of years You're, yeah um, so all along you didn't know what was going on yeah right? so i didn't know what was going on and then just I would say about a year ago, that's when I started to get eczema in my eyes. I would wake up with like swollen eyes, oh. almost swollen shut. Yeah. And so then I was talking on the phone with my sister uh -huh. and she said, do you think it has anything to do with your breast implants? Wow. And so wow. it just like clicked, clicked like That for light bulb me. came off. Yeah. Could, yeah. And so I did a deep Google search mm -hmm. and was reading all these different like platforms and people's experiences. Mm -hmm. But the real kicker was when I found a Facebook private group uh -huh. called Breast Implant Illness Healing wow. by Nicole. Uh -huh. And that was the thing where there's yeah. over 100,000 women. That's a lot of women. Yes, and they're all sharing their yeah. stories and there's pictures mm -hmm. and very, very similar. It's almost like reading your own story. Goodness. Which is just wild because all these women yeah. have been to doctor after uh -huh. doctor. And you know what was going on. Exactly. So from from the stories that you've read and the research that you've done, do they know what exactly is caused? Is it the, the is it the because it's a foreign material? Is it you know a leakage or what? What is it usually? Yeah. You know what so, you've heard so far. So what I've discovered mm -hmm. um, is that basically what happens is a lot of women are having autoimmune issues. Oh, there. 
because your body is identifying it as a foreign object. It's a foreign object. It is a yeah. foreign object. It's not natural. Exactly. You know, we weren't born with yeah. it. Unless we were born with it, it's not natural. Yeah. <laughs> so the body, so your immune system is already taxed. Like every yeah. single day it's working well, on. No one, that would make a lot of, that mm -hmm. makes perfect sense. It does. It's, it, it makes perfect sense. It really does. Yeah, because it's a foreign substance in your body. So your body's just trying to defend itself by attacking. So that uses a lot of resources. So yeah. you're going to be fatigued. You're going to be, all these in inflammation comes up. Yeah. Yeah, right. super sensitive to, to like to, any additional like wow. like seasonal allergies. I was just like wiped out, wow. and I've never dealt yeah, with seasonal sure allergies not. before. Yeah. Um, but so here's the kicker. This is the part that a lot of women don't know, mm -hmm. and doctors don't even identify with. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter whether you have silicone or saline; mm -hmm. both are toxic mm -hmm. because yep. what happens is the outer shell, which actually brought mine today. Oh, oh wow! So I'll show you. Wow. Um, these were mine. Wow. These were in me for 11 years. Wow. Um, do you want to feel sure. it? It's weird, right? Yeah. Um, so this outer shell, whether you have silicone or saline, mm -hmm. is a silicone shell. Okay. So, and what happens is whether you have a rupture or leak, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Okay. Because over time, the heat in your body and then the enzymes that your, body, your immune system mm -hmm. is pushing out yeah. to um, protect you from this foreign object. Yeah the implant oxidizes mm -hmm. and so you get heavy metal and toxin oh. transfer into your body wow that has very detrimental effects obviously yes many deep levels yeah wow so breast implant illness really is similar to um it's like a heavy metal issue mm -hmm. women who may or men or women who've been exposed to mold well, toxicity yeah, right. similar symptoms very right? similar the fatigue the brain fog yep the, the brain right, fog was huge oh brain fog, fog was huge yeah. for me yeah you just you're like oh where am i yeah like, you're in a, like your brain is in a mist right yeah. you can concentrate you can remember things mm -hmm. your main your brain you couldn't really think and analyze things it was just like you're foggy yeah right? overall yeah wow exactly and so tell me now that you've you obviously you said three months ago you were able to remove them yeah so tell me how you feel now and what what, what have you seen yeah so so once i found that group and mm -hmm. i like connected the dots i was adamant about getting them out wow. i was just on a mission so i um i was like researching for doctors and i happened to find a doctor in santa barbara mm -hmm. that could get me in pretty quickly yeah. now here's an important part to know about uh -huh. the explant process mm -hmm. is it's actually quite tricky mm -hmm. it's a more invasive surgery than getting them in wow. and this part is another thing that some doctors sure. don't identify with uh -huh. and a lot of women um, might have to undergo a second surgery uh -huh. if the plastic surgeon doesn't get their capsule mm. removed. Okay. So it's called an on block yeah. capsulectomy. I see. So what happens is your when you get these, your body creates a scar tissue oh, capsule that's right. around the implant. That's right. And so a lot of doctors will just do an incision, boop, and then pull the mm. implant out. Mm -hmm. But what happens is that interrupts the scar tissue capsule mm -hmm. and then exposes your body to more of the toxins oh, and the heavy no. metals. Okay. And then if they leave that scar tissue yeah. in there, those women get sicker and get sicker. Sick. Oh no. Even if the implant's Pants gone. gone. That makes perfect sense. So what they have to do is they have to go in and they it's almost like getting a mastectomy mm -hmm. in a way because they have to go and they cut around the capsule without disrupting the implant mm -hmm. and then they take this whole thing out with this like it looks gross it looks mm. bloody but it's like a um packaged scar tissue capsule mm -hmm. and then they take it out yes, and sure. then that's when they cut open the, the yeah, capsule yeah. and then pull this out once it's out of your body wow that's so powerful. Yeah. And you, you obviously have this light life, your life back. You feel like, no, I, I, I'm not going crazy, right? I, it's not in my head. This is real stuff. That's, and it's affecting so many women, mm -hmm. especially, you know, I don't know the percentage, but I know, I know some friends who have, you know, breast implants and have, some have told me about what they feel. So uh, I'm gonna, this show is gonna be really beneficial for them and millions of women out there. That's just, wow. Yeah, wow. I, I hope so. I mean, I get messages from women on Instagram all the I'm time sure. yeah. just telling me how 
how sick they are and mm -hmm. how frustrated they are and they're trying to find a surgeon and mm -hmm. you know sometimes their husband doesn't believe them yeah or their yeah. or their primary care doctor doesn't, doesn't, doesn't recognize it and he'll be like it, there's no way it's your yeah implants. because it's not in the medical literature exactly some doctors don't think outside the box mm -hmm. it's like hey it's not in the medical doesn't exist yeah. but the reality is there's so many different conditions right yeah that uh, we don't we still have to discover yeah so wow that's just so what other platforms have you spread your, you know, this great knowledge? You, um, I've been maybe. sharing on my own personal Instagram yes, account uh -huh. as much as I can. I've, I've shared my whole story. I have a wild video of me the night of mm -hmm. surgery. Wow. The night of surgery, I actually kind of had a bit of a spiritual awakening. Oh, okay. Um, I, can you share with us about that? Yeah, yeah. it was. Um, so I had a lot of. I didn't realize I had a lot of anger mm -hmm. and repressed um, emotions towards my implants mm -hmm. and and towards my um, a previous relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I was a bit. These implants represented a relationship that these supposedly were oh. going to help. Mm -hmm. These were supposedly yeah. going to make a a romantic relationship better and. That's just not, yeah. that's like just such a lie. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> yeah. I mean, how could, oh anyway, gosh, yeah. we well, could go into I'll, that. Yeah, I was befuddled. Uh, I actually met Kat just this past weekend. It seems like we've known each other for a while because we connected it on many different levels, but mm -hmm. we, we attended this landmark forum. Mm -hmm. That's where we met. And uh, it's, yeah. a, it's a transformative kind of learning to get us to discover, you know, what difficulties and makes us a stronger person. So I know you had shared about this, which was amazing. That's, yeah. And I definitely wanted, when I heard it, I wanted you to share your story because it's, you know, it hit me. Yeah. And I, I was connected with you on that very deeply. Yeah. You know, yeah, so I mean, I had made my peace. That relationship ended mm -hmm. and I had made my peace. I thought that I would have these implants for the rest of my life or, mm -hmm. or different ones eventually down the road. Um, but I, to be honest, they were uncomfortable in my mm -hmm. body. They were, I had pain, mm -hmm. pain and like, I never really felt connected to mm -hmm. them. So what happened was the night I explanted, I just, it was, I like was crying mm -hmm. and I was so sure. happy and I yeah. just kept telling my sister, I'm so happy, yeah. I'm free, I'm uh -huh. liberated, I never have to, I, I never have to go through this again. Yeah. They're out of my body. Mm -hmm. I had no idea I was going to have like such a strong reaction. Wow. Wow. Because you know, in the grand scheme of things, happiness is the ultimate price, mm -hmm. right? To be truly happy is it's something that eludes all of us at times, right? Different yeah. parts of our life. So to have that, I could see the joy, the fire back in your eyes. And I obviously didn't know you before, you know, before you had the uh, them taken out. Yeah. But whatever the case, I, I see that vibrancy back in you. So yeah. I, I really appreciate you coming and joining. So I want to end the show. I want you to share just a couple pearls of wisdom. To, you know, we could share about life, about love, whatever you want to share with the audience. That's what I like to do usually. Oh, I love that. <laughs> um, I would say, well, the okay, I'm going to share yeah. one thing that I learned through this whole experience is listen to your gut. Mm. If your gut is telling you something, don't ignore it. Oh, okay. There's something deep down. Deep, yeah. We have this internal intuition mm -hmm. in us and your wisdom, your what, like the wise old woman or man that's inside of you is trying to keep you safe and True. protect you and give yeah. you um, give you like a safer pathway for your life. So I would say, listen to that internal yeah. gut. Yeah, because the whole thing before you even had them was very tricky, mm -hmm. right? The reason why you even got them. Exactly. Right, so yeah. it was not, you know, the, the best of intentions wasn't there in the first place. Yeah, So. and my, and when I was, um, when I don't want to say pressure because I want to take responsibility. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But when, when the idea of getting an implants was brought to my attention, mm -hmm. my internal gut was saying, saying no, 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 no yeah. don't do our, it, yeah. get out, get out. Yeah. And um, I didn't listen to that. Yeah, because as you mentioned, you know, this internal gut, it's our mind, it's our soul speaking to us, right? Yeah. And so already it was already defiant knowing that this is not going to be the right thing for you. Yeah. But, you know, it's okay. You know, we live, we learn. That's what life is, right? It's a, it's basically going through life. We don't live it, we won't learn it, and it's better to do it than not do it because in the grand scheme of things, we only have one life to live, and each of us, we don't know when our expiration date is. So I want to thank Kat for yeah. your expertise and your positive energy and your beautiful smile. Appreciate you joining us today, and uh, thank you, VNTV, for always your support. 
And uh, you much love to you guys, and thank you again.